exist. The late U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice William Rehnquist once opined, in times of war, the law is silent. That is to say, as war is the state's supreme executive power, the courts will neither interfere nor restrict that power. And although Rehnquist has been gone from the court and life for eight years, his dictum remains. For in the recent case, Clapper versus Amnesty International, the exigencies of war prevailed over that of the Constitution or any mere notions of democracy. In the Clapper case, Amnesty, the American Civil Liberties Union, journalists, and lawyers challenged the U.S. government's practice of warrantless wiretapping of international phone calls, emails, and other communications. The Clapper majority determined that because the parties couldn't prove that the government did this to them or their clients, they lacked standing to pursue their challenge. Standing is a judicial concept which determines if or if not, someone is the proper person to sue. Calling their claim too speculative, Justice Samuel Alito, writing for a five-vote majority, noted that the plaintiffs cannot manufacture standing by incurring costs in anticipation of non-imminent harms. Dissenting Justice Stephen Breyer disagreed saying the harm complained of, as in the fear that government agents were monitoring their communications, is as likely to take place as are most future events that common sense inference and ordinary knowledge of human nature tell us will happen. Alito pointed to the so-called FISA, or Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, as a safeguard over the program. In fact, the FISA court is a secret court with secret judges, which issues opinions which, too, are secret. According to published accounts, the FISA court rules for the government something like 99% of the time. Secret courts to rule on government secrecy, huh? Good luck with that. We have secret prisons, so why not secret courts? William Rehnquist said, in times of war, the law is silent. He should have said... In times of war, the law is secret. From imprisoned nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.